Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of animation in Python to visualize the Fourier series. So without wasting a time, let's begin now. So we will consider an example of square wave, right? And uh, on the Wikipedia page of this square wave, they have given the Fourier expansion of the square pulse. So this is the Fourier expansion. Here, if you notice, in this expansion, only odd harmonics are present, means 1, 3, 5, and so on. Now, as a first step, we will assume that each sign term present in this expansion corresponds to some circle. Which type of circle? Circle having some center and some finite radius. Now the question immediately arises that uh, what would be the center and what would be the radius, right? So for this first sign term, the center would be 0, 0, means origin. And the radius would be the amplitude of this uh, sine wave, okay, which is uh, 4 upon pi. Now uh, problem starts from this second term, means sine omega t, 3 sine omega t, sorry. Here we have to shift the circle by which amount the by the amount of the radius the first circles radius right and for the second circle we have to add uh, the radius of first circle and second circle and this process we have to repeat for nth circle right and uh, radius would be uh, easily it would be 4 pi upon 1 upon 3 for the third sine harmonic it would be 4 upon uh, 5 pi uh, 5 pi and so on right so let's jump to the coding stuff now so i have written this code let me so yes this is the code so here if you notice that i have defined an object named fs right which has two inputs circles and cycles circle circles input means how many circles we want in our animation and cycles means how many times we want to rotate this uh, animation means how many times we want to ro uh, repeat this pattern and uh, here's the core part this is x center this function will generate the x coordinate of the center and this y center will generate the y coordinate of circle's center. Notice that here I have used this formula, which we have seen in this uh, Fourier expansion. And you may also notice that here I have used this sine term and here I have used cos term for this x center. This one is the radius. This function will generate the radius for nth circle. As you can see here, 4, pi up, uh, 4 upon pi into 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 5 and so on. This is the plotting part, right? So in this first part, I am creating that uh, animation of circle. And this uh, second part will generate our square wave-like pattern. And this amount, uh, this code will generate that red line between two subplots. So let's run this code and see what we are, what we will get. So yes, we are getting the same thing. As you can notice that uh, we have eight circles, as I have given here, eight circles, eight circles, and two cycles means it will repeat and the animation two times okay now here is the one more example for you guys Fourier series for short tooth wave so the entire code is same I have only changed this uh, two lines means uh, X center and Y center and obviously I have also changed this uh, radius uh, formula and let's see what we are getting. So yes, this is uh, creating this short root wave. So we have reached the peak point, I guess. Yes. And yes. So you can easily notice that uh, we have a short root like pattern. Huh. Okay guys, so I have uh, completed the video. 
बट ये इज द बोनस वीडियो फॉर यू और इट्स ए बोनस नॉलेज फॉर यू सी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एप्लीकेशन लाइक सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सिमुलेशन फॉर प्लाज्मा फिजिक्स एंड ऑल दैट थिंग पीपल यूज फोर ईयर सीरीज एंड इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन वी मे और मे नॉट हैव द एनालिटिकल वर्जन ऑफ फोर ईयर सीरीज लाइक दिस वन ओके सो पीपल हैव डेवलप एंड न्यूमरिकल वर्जन ऑफ द फोर ईयर सीरीज सो दैट दे कैन विजुअलाइज विच टाइप ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर प्रेजेंट इन द सिग्नल so for that scientists have developed an algorithm named fast fourier transform or say fft so this is the fft code which i have written and uh, i am using this uh, fft solver which is available in this uh, numpy library or no it is available in scipy library sorry and uh, i will show you how uh, people use this uh, fft for applications like uh, signal processing so here you have the signal like this sin 2 pi into 5t 0.5 which is the amplitude and 2 pi into 10 means there are two frequencies present in our signal 5 hertz and 10 hertz so let's see what uh, fft can uh, give us so yes this is the actual signal and this is the fast fourier transform of the signal uh let me show you how it works so uh if you notice that uh, here we have a sharp peak at uh, 5 hertz and uh, it is at uh, 0.999 means the uh, amplitude of signal and down here we have one more peak with uh, 10 hertz frequency and 0.49 uh, amplitude of signal which is very much similar to this thing means uh, you uh, can visualize that how uh, how powerful this tool is now let's uh, try another example example of a square wave so with this code i am creating a square wave let's close this figure right so let's run this thing and see what we are getting yeah so this is the square wave right and uh, here if you notice that there are odd harmonics only odd harmonics for example here uh, me, yes so we have sharp peak at 1 hertz second peak at 3 hertz third peak at 5 hertz right and if you notice then it is exactly similar to this thing means 1 hertz 3 hertz 5 hertz so using fast fourier transform we can easily uh, visualize that uh, how many frequencies are present in our signal now let's uh, try one more example a tough one so i am uh using the same uh signal which we have seen in this first example but in but this time i am adding some noise by uh, writing this rand function okay and let's see what we are getting so this is our noisy signal and if you see here that uh, in this fourier transform we have this uh noisy frequencies but apart from that we have sharp uh, signal uh, signal at 5 hertz and one another sharp peak at 10 hertz so this is a very powerful uh, tool we can easily filter the filter out this frequency by adding some filter circuit in our uh, application so this is how we can use fast fourier transformation So guys uh I have uh, shown you how to visualize Fourier series in this video and also shown you how you can use fast Fourier transform uh, for your uh, application. So this is all guys for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, 
tutorial if you like this video then please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next video bye